It's August team meeting time. Woohoo! Yay, team, yes! I'm Sarah Marsh, and I'm so excited today. I'll be uh, joined with um, Heather Werner later, and I'll be telling you all about her. She's a rock star top achiever from conference. Yeah, you're going to love her, guys. So first thing is July shout outs. So these are our top 10 in sales and our top recruiters. And guys, listen, Team Yes is almost 1,900 women strong. So if you're in this top 10 or top recruiters, it means you're kind of a rock star. So yeah, big pat on the back, big high fives. Woo! You rock. So really, I'm seriously proud of each of you on this list. Next thing I want to talk about, incentives. There are three home office incentives right now. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Home office incentive number one, maintain or move up incentive. That is all about being intentional and consistent in your Jamberry business, and there's different levels to unlock, and we're in the final month of that one right now, so really, really exciting stuff. The next one is the summer incentive. And that incentive is for the trips, and all you really need to worry about is your new PRV between last month and this month. So this is also the final month for that one. And then the recruiting incentive. So this is just for the month of August, and there's so many different ways that you yourself can actually earn this incentive, as well as your new recruits getting to take advantage of the $50 rebate. So there's so, so much right now going on that this is the perfect time for people to join. So really take advantage. You know, this is also a great image that you can be using, by the way, to post. Woohoo! Yay! Fifty dollar rebate if they are in your first fast start. So go check out resources and training, and then click on incentives, and you'll see all the details there. Okay. So next, the area meetings. There's three right now listed in the events of our um, workstation. There's two in Arkansas and one in North Carolina. To get more details, make sure you go and check out the events tab. Um, that are listed in resources and training, um, so you can check those out. And the next thing I want to talk about, guys, True Shine Gel System, okay? These are my nails right here in this picture. I tried the gel out myself. I put it over my wraps. I put it just on my nails itself. I am in love with the new gel system. I've never worn gels before. This is a first, but seriously, over my jams, what? I went and like was picking at a sticker, and my tips didn't even lift. Wow, right? Yeah totally awesome. I highly recommend it. Get excited about this. This is a fabulous new product that we're going to be offering. So um, if any of you local girls want to try it out, I'm going to be setting up a date to try it out at my home um, before the new catalog launches. I'm just nailing out final uh, dates and times. So I hope you'll be able to make it just a quick little trial and be good to go. If you're not local, check with your local person that went to conference and they most likely have it and they will, um, I'm sure, let you come over and give it a whirl so you can try it out. I really, seriously, I love it over my jams. Like, I am not sure I'll ever wear jams without gel over the top. I don't know. The next thing um, I want to talk about is more flexibility for marketing your business. So that's allowing you to put text on images again, but there are still some rules. So make sure you look up what the new updated uh, branding and logo you, uh, usage guidelines are um, by just checking on your dash and searching for this particular image here. Um, and then finally, the going, going, gone, a new catalog. So today, the new catalog released, I think you'll all be watching this video tomorrow or another day, but the new catalog released today, it's so exciting, but please don't let people peek and see that. Really focus in on that going, going on, okay? Um, there is the excitement of that, the leaving forever, getting locked in the Jamberry vault. Oh no, not the Jamberry vault. Yes, they are. So get the excitement going, get your August sales up, and then let September take the new catalog. Don't try to be the first person to tell people about it. It's not worth it. Okay, next thing. Yes, it's official. We're going to Australia and New Zealand. So if you have any questions, make sure you're filling out the cross-border sponsorship agreement um, so you can start getting people um, under you from those locations when we launch in October. Um, it's going to be fantastic if you happen to have people there in those areas that can start building your team. Okay, so the first big topic I want to talk to you guys about today is your goals. A goal is a desired result that a person envisions, plans, commits to achieve. Goals provide a clear understanding of what you're trying to accomplish. Setting short-term goals to reach long-term goals is the key to success for most people. So having goals gives you pretty much everyday tasks that have more meaning. Um, it helps to clarify the reasoning behind your decisions. So, you know, you can ask yourself questions like, how will this goal benefit me? 
what steps are needed to achieve this goal you know what timeline is there how can I help uh, how or who can help me um, achieve this what obstacles are there what solutions are there break the big goals down into several smaller goals um, you know the tragedy I'm gonna read this quote here that's been on your screen for a few seconds the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goal the tragedy lies in having no goals to reach so you know really it's all about having these goals your bigger goals should be broken down into multiple smaller goals this will create kind of a series of goals that will appear to be achievable you know just baby steps and then as you accomplish the smaller goals you're gonna see the progress firsthand you're gonna see it much easier um, and it will give you the confidence to kind of just keep moving forward and it really increases the chances of you reaching your end goal if you don't set the short-term goals of reaching your long-term goal you're not going to see your success firsthand it's just going to be kind of in the the background so you know it, this is kind of a, a quote that i really liked people create their own questions because they're afraid to look straight all you have to do is look straight and see the road and when you see it, don't sit looking at it. Walk. Okay, so here's why that's so important. Sometimes we just, you know, we see this goal and we want this goal, you know, whether it be a rank increase um, or rank um, promotion or a uh, income increase or whatever it might be. You know, we see this goal, but yet we don't know, you know, really how to get to it. We just kind of look at this goal and say, that's what I want, but I don't know what to do to get there. But, you know, the answer is really right there in front of you with your, your sponsors, your team managers, your team pages. And that's really just getting back into getting the parties because getting the parties is going to lead you to the recruits, to the connections, to, you know, everything that you need to build your business. If you're not filling your calendar up with however many parties you deem to be appropriate for your life, then you're really not moving towards your goal. So setting the dates for parties, getting your calendar full is the number one step. And then from there, it's all these other smaller goals. So really taking that step and walking and making yourself go to reaching these goals is where it's at. Um, so this is where I'm going to talk about Heather Warner here because she has a lot to say about recruiting and building your business. She was a top achiever at conference, a complete rock star, guys, complete rock star. Um, she had like, I think it was 25 or 26 recruits just from conference to conference. So amazing. She's a senior executive. She blows me away with her PRV and recruiting numbers every month. So here she is. to talk to you about my favorite topic, recruiting. Recruiting. Recruiting is a numbers game, ladies. If you're not partying, you won't get recruited. I signed up in April of 2014, and um, when I first started, my family, we had a 600 square foot apartment with me, my husband, and my two kids, um, all squeezed in, and we were struggling so much. So when I joined Gender, I knew that I needed to make it work for my family, and I needed to go to the top. So early on, I decided I was going to run at least eight parties a month, and so I committed to that. I made sure to get that done. And my thinking from the very beginning was, the more parties I have, the more women I can reach, the better chances I can have at getting people to join my team and share the awesomeness of Jamberry. Now, fast forward to where I am now, a lot of times once people start getting two, three, four recruits, they let their personal business start to slide. I knew early on I was not going to let that happen. Instead of sticking with eight parties, I decided to bump it up. So now I always do at least 12 parties a month. That way I'm reaching more women, I'm getting a higher PRV, um, and I'm just doing it. I'm making sure it gets done. Because if you stop your business, it is so much harder to get back into it than if you just keep chugging along. There's going to be some months where it's slower. And that's okay, but that does not mean it's okay to stop your business. Because as soon as you stop it, it's gonna be so much harder to pick it up. 
So, with recruiting, I knew that I needed to be consistent with my parties. I had to continue to have my parties so that I can continue to reach more women. Another thing that I started to do was keeping lists. I had a list of everyone I had contacted um, about joining my team, and if they showed no interest at all, I crossed them off the list, and that I would still follow up with, me, um, follow up with them about being a customer and ordering their wraps. If it was someone who was one of our friend sitters, then I made sure to circle them, and I would uh, come back and follow up with them once a month. And then if it was someone who I felt was really, um, they could really use Jamberry or they were really interested in Jamberry, then those ones I was a little more persistent with, I would do phone calls with, I would um, meet with. Um, it's important to stay in contact with them. Don't let them go to the wayside or forget to follow up with them. Make sure you follow up, whether you have to put a reminder in your phone or if you're I'm calendar, I need to write everything. Down, I would write down on the days where I was going to follow up with them so that I would not forget. So make sure that you're doing your follow-up. So important. Um, another thing that is super important is to make relationships with your customers and with your hostesses. A lot of my recruits are my past hostesses. Um, you get to know them, you develop a relationship with them, and so they feel comfortable with you. So, and you feel comfortable with them. And you're presenting it as an opportunity and sharing with them what Jamberry has done for you in your life. Um, and that brings me to my next thing. Instead of looking at it as, oh, I have to recruit to hit my fast starter, I have to hit recruit to move up to the next level. Yes, they're requirements, but when you think of it that way, it becomes more of a daunting task. Instead, you have to change your perspective. You have to think of what Jamboree sounds for you and share it with others. So instead of thinking, oh, I need to get this done for my fast start, go into things and share with people what's done for you because that is so encouraging to other people when you can say, oh, I just paid for my gas with Jamberry. I just bought my groceries with Jamberry. I paid my rent with Jamberry. I mean, that, like, real life instances of what it's done for you is so much more than, join my team. You can say, look at what it's done in my life. Look at the change that's made in my life. Um, and that's so, I mean, I know for me, when I see what it's doing for other people, that encourages me, that excites me. Um, Okay, so let's talk about what you can do right now. Um, first thing, I would encourage you to increase your presence, whether it be on social media or in your neighborhood or at events. I have an Instagram for my Jamboree account. I have my Facebook Jamboree account. I have a nail art studio um, exclusive group for Jamboree. I'm known in my neighborhood as the Jamboree Girl. Make sure that you make your presence known and that people know what you have to offer. Set yourself apart from other people. Um, the next thing you wanna do is develop relationships with your customers and your hostesses. Get to know them on a more personal level. Instead of it just being, hey, thanks for your order. Say, thanks so much for your order. I saw you notice this wrap. What are you gonna pair it with? Get the conversation moving. Um, if they order foot, the end zone, what's your favorite football team? Or, oh, is this for sports season? Do you have kids that are in sports? Get to know your customers. Get to know your hostesses. Go into your parties, events, fundraisers, whatever you're doing with a recruiting mindset. This means that you're listening for those flags that they could use Jamberry. Someone says, oh my gosh, I love these wraps, but I can't afford them. Then you can turn around and say, you know what? Have you ever thought about joining Jamberry? The startup costs are so low, and there's so many perks, and there's ways that you can earn the wraps for free with your fast start. Let me explain it to you. Let me talk to you about it. Use those as opportunities to talk to people about Jamberry. And when you're doing this, though, make sure you're not throwing Jamberry up all over them. 
for your faith. You can just join, you can be your pastor, you only need this, this, and this, and then you are this, and then you do that, and da 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 They'll just feel so overwhelmed. Instead, give a little bit, let them ask. Give a little bit, let them ask. Make it a conversation, not, here's everything you need to know about Jamboree forever and ever and ever. Take your time to build those relationships. Get to know them. Um, recruiting is awesome. I love recruiting because I look at it now that I get to help these women make a difference in their family's lives. And I am so passionate about it. I found with Jamboree that yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, I love to party. And being able to see them write something like, oh my gosh, my daughter really wanted this for school and I was able to get it. I was able to get a new outfit um, for my son or new shoes or all the school supplies. Maybe, oh, I was able to get the new jam purse with my Jamberry card. I love it. I love seeing these women making difference in their family's lives, seeing them encouraged by the team. So when you're recruiting, don't think of it as a requirement. Think of it as you giving them an opportunity to empower themselves, to have something of their own, because a lot of times it's moms that join our teams, and so often moms don't do things for themselves. And Jamboree can be their thing. It could be their time, their getaway. If you're going out for an event, by yourself and you get to grab a coffee on the way and then you get to hang out with women and talk about awesome meal wraps. If you're doing a Facebook party and you get to sneak away for a few minutes and play a super fun game and crack jokes online with other women, it's a break and it's fun and it's exciting and it's nice, especially for his mom, to talk with someone other than our six and two year old, even though I love them. So, I am so thankful to talk to you guys about recruiting and I am so excited to see um, our teams grow and I just want to encourage all of you to reach out to people, think of what Jamberry's done in your life and share that with someone else so that you can encourage them and get them excited about the opportunity and the fun of Jamberry. Thank you so much, Heather. That was amazing, right, ladies? She is a rock star. She has so much, you know, just a wealth of knowledge. So I hope you guys took notes and really soaked up what she had to offer. So let's talk about your activity takeaway. So I want you guys to kind of take from what Heather was saying and just make a list of your prospects and, you know, just really make a, a real list, guys, like legit, either, you know, on your computer or handwrite it, and then take a picture or a screenshot, and then I want you to send it to your sponsor. And the reason why I want you to do this is I want you to hold yourself accountable, and I want your sponsor to see how serious you're taking your business, and that you're making a goal to really take your business to the next level. So, you know, get this list made, write it down, send it to your sponsor, and just be like, hey, look, I made my list, I'm ready to take this to the next level. And then I want you to follow up with those people and, you know, don't lose sight of follow-ups. Um, the statistics show that the more follow-ups you do, the more likely they are to buy from you down the road because each of those follow-ups should not be about buying, recruiting, it's building that connection that Heather was talking about. So, all right, guys, go do it. Get that challenge done. Get your list made. Send it to your sponsor. And guys, let's have an awesome August, all right? Woo! Catalog change is coming. We're all excited. Let's do this. Woo!